Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I'm your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they want, need, and desire by helping them to implement simple tips and proven strategies. So now today we will be talking about how you can speak life into your spouse, into your relationship right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So why are you speaking life into your spouse and into your relationship? Why should you do that? You should do this to protect your relationship, to protect your relationship from all of those outsiders and especially the enemy. Am I talking about the devil? Yes, I am. Especially the enemy because he wants to create this separation, create this distance so he can break down the relationship. And so you want to speak life into your relationship and especially speak life into your spouse specifically so you can protect your relationship, so you can protect your home, so you can protect your family. Let's talk about it. Another thing that I want to mention before I go ahead and give you the first tip, which is this is going to help your spouse meet their highest potential, especially if they want it. We need that extra push because it can be scary out there going after your dreams. It can be very scary. It is a process. It is a journey. It's not something that happens overnight. And there are going to be days where you do not feel like going after your dreams, that you do not feel like going after your goals, because it seems like nothing is going as fast as you want it to go. Nothing is, you know, they, they, they always talk about how the overnight success is actually a fallacy because it's actually true. The things that you do, for years, you're doing it for years, you're doing it for years, and all of a sudden, now the world knows your name. I love to always talk about Kevin Hart's story because everybody thinks that Kevin Hart was an overnight success. Where did this guy come from? Now he's in all of these movies, he has all of these comedy shows, he's doing X, Y, and Z. Not realizing that Kevin Hart was not Kevin Hart. He wasn't a household name for 17 years. He was beaten on his craft for 17 years before he became a household name. Now he balling out of control. But for 17 years, him following that goal, him trying to reach that dream of being the all-time favorite comedian, the only comedian to sell out um, Madison, Madison Square Garden before he became a household name. He was beaten on his craft for 17 years. So there are going to be plenty of days, plenty of nights that you do not want to work on your dreams, that you do not want to work on your goals because it seems like nothing is showing. Nothing is coming into fruition. And so when you have your spouse by your side that's just saying, go, 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 you got this, get back out there, don't stop, don't stop, you can help your spouse reach their highest potential. So the first thing is for my believers out there, you can absolutely do this if you are a non-believer, but this one is specifically for my believers out there because what you want to do is call out the characteristics that God, that you see that God has put into your spouse and you are going to help them by feeding all of this continuously in their ear because they're going to need your help. They're going to need your support. Speak life into your spouse. This is a way to do it. The thing that you know that they're great at, you know that they are a great speaker, tell them that they are a great speaker. They got this. You know what? Uh, you know what? I know you're nervous today, but you got this. Go out there and give it everything that you got. You know what? I know that yesterday wasn't that great, but guess what? Today you got this. Today is a new day. Go out there and do what you need to do. Go out there and help those people that need to be helped. That's how you speak life into your spouse. The things that you know that God has blessed them with, those are the things that you want to bring out and affirm them with. Let them know. We in this together. You got this. You can do it. Keep pushing. Don't stop. Which actually brings me into point number two, which I think I've already said this. Affirm them using words of affirmation. Absolutely. You got this, boo. You strong. You smart. You can do all things, all things. We're in this together. 
Don't worry about that. I got you. Just like you had my back, I got your back. Words of affirmation. You are great. You are wonderful. You are a great husband. You are a great dad. You are a great speaker. Whatever the talent is that you know that your spouse has. You are a great carpenter. You are a great salesman. You are a great saleswoman. Whatever it is, speak those words of affirmation into your spouse. Speak life into your spouse. The last three are all sentences. They're all statements that you're going to start this sentence with. Number three, I'm proud of you because what are you sincerely proud of your spouse about? It could be it's always the simple things that mean the most because we think that it always has to be something grand in order for you to recognize your spouse about. But it doesn't have to be. You know what? I'm proud of you for actually holding the door for that lady. I'm proud of you for taking out the trash. I'm proud that you are the man that God wants you to be. I am proud of you because. Finish that statement. What are you proud of your spouse about? I'm proud of you because you actually said that you was going to go out there and reach X goal. And you, you did reach X goal. I'm very proud of you. The fourth statement that you will be completing is, I love you because. Finish the statement. I love you because you are you. I love you because you can be vulnerable with me. I love you because you love me. I love you because you are the head of the household. I love you because you provide for me and the family. I love you because why do you love your spouse? Speak those words of affirmation. Speak life into your spouse. Number five, how to speak life into your spouse is to say, I am thankful for you because... Finish the statement. I am thankful for you because. What is it? You tell me. Put it down in the comment section below. I definitely want to know what you have to say. And when you put it down there, then guess what? You need to say it to your spouse because your spouse is the one who really needs to hear it. I want to see what you have to say so we can continue the conversation. But I am not the one that's going to reap the benefit from it. Your your spouse will absolutely reap the benefit from you saying, I am thankful for you because, finish that statement, speak life into your spouse, speak life into your relationship, because not only are you speaking life into them, you are actually speaking life into the entirety of your family, of your future, of your future. Speak life into your spouse. You will see a world of difference in your relationship, a world of difference in your connection, a world of difference in your bonding, a world of difference in the way you show up and show out for your spouse. Because you'll be happier. You'll be healthier. You'll feel sexier. And you'll want to be there. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.